Atheism always conquers the stupidity of religious beliefs. A simple reality for humans, religion is not written by any gods, and has absolutely no credence whatsoever. It is the worst kind of dogma, and needs to be entirely removed from Earth. We'll add some simple facts to this. Christians are truly selfish and self-righteous, and perhaps the most mentally ill of all religious faiths. Point one. You are lucky enough to be alive, and enjoying the reality of your own life. Christians don't feel this is enough. They want more. More than the magnificence of life. They want eternal life. Like a two-year-old child that doesn't want to put down his favorite toy to eat dinner. How selfish. In fact, to the point of mental illness. Point two. Christians believe their sins, including atrocities like rape and murder, are absolved by their beliefs, again signaling severe mental illness. There is no gods, and your sins, the sins that you committed, are not forgiven. They are your choices and stand as a firm reminder of your conduct and your will. You live with them for the rest of your life, until you die. And yes, there are atheists in foxholes. If people are good only because they fear punishment and hope for reward, then we are a sorry lot indeed, Albert Einstein. The two biggest religions are Christianity, its dogma has 33% followers, and then Islam, its dogma has 21% followers. And then comes atheism, or non-religious groups, at 16% and increasing annually. There are still quite a few idiots who believe in organized religion, but thankfully that number is dropping each year. The growth of non-religious believers is especially observable within the science and medical communities. At major research universities, 64% of the staff are non-religious and non-believers. In the field of evolutionary studies, 87% of leading scientists deny the existence of a god or gods. And among the biologists who are members of the National Academy of Sciences, 94% dismiss the idea of a god. If the Pope really believed in God and had faith in him protecting him, would he really be ushered around in a bulletproof capsule? The bulletproof enclosure expresses exactly how much faith the Pope does have in God protecting him. Absolutely zero. Research also demonstrates that the more atheists there are in a country, the more peaceful it is. And the more people who are religious, the more violent the country is. Research also demonstrates that the more that a country's members attend religious services, the more violent they are and prone to violent, overreactive, hostile, primitive behavior. And of course, with the advent of technology, this violent, primitive behavior is expressed in a number of very dangerous ways question with boldness even the existence of God, because if there be one, he must more approve of the homage of reason than that of blindfolded fear, Thomas Jefferson. Research also demonstrates that as a country becomes more religious, they become more poverty-stricken, except for the United States of America, one exception. Although we were founded by secularists and folks who abhorred religion. Research also shows a distinct correlation between intelligence and being non religious. The higher the IQ, the less likely one is to be religious. People who believe in religion are very violent. Imagine what it would be like without religion, provoking all sorts of wars and violence, like the Crusades and of course, 911. 
There's really no difference between any kind of religious zealots. They're all perfectly crazy and unbalanced. All they do is argue about who wrote their phony fairy tale books, which they claim were written by gods, and tell the story of how everything was made and created, even though no one knows, and anyone with an IQ higher than two knows that. The story of Adam and Eve and the snake and the apple is fiction, just like the three little pigs are fiction. It's also interesting how Christianity says it can explain everything. Of course, it can't. And it has a giant hole in it, missing hundreds and hundreds of years of information during the Christian Dark Ages. Maybe they couldn't read their Bible in the dark. And don't forget where the Pope places his faith. In the scientists and research team that created his bulletproof enclosure. Not this alleged God, which, as he knows, doesn't exist. The Pope just keeps the bold lie going. And if you see anything other than toast in this toast, you need to check yourself into a mental ward. You're quite insane.